Hello everybody. Uh, been a very very long time since I've been online for um, some unconvenient locations and reasons. But however, I'm back. I'm doing well. I'm alive. I'm kicking. Um, I just want to bring a word that the Lord has put on my heart to speak to you guys and it's called forgiveness. Um, all of you know I live in Florida. I used to live in Florida. I live in one of the 50 states of the star. Anyways, um, situations happened, circumstances happened, and uh, the enemy came against me um, and was able to, was allowed to do what he did to me um, through certain people, certain uh, unfortunate incidences, and uh, I had to pay the price and everything that happened happened for a reason um, I was able to save souls I was able to get people delivered get people healed meet amazing uh, men and women that needed a boost in Christ um, so for me it was a blessing yet it was one of the hardest things I've ever had to go through in my life uh, it is what it is I've come through on the other end unscathed unhurt um, better for it in every way shape or form and I just want the people to know who hurt me I forgive you there's three particular ones in uh, Florida they know who they are and uh, I'm sure they'll watch this eventually and if they do I still love you and I still forgive you for all the actions you've taken against me and my family um, I pray that one day the love of Christ will penetrate the depths of your heart and truly cleanse you of all sickness, disease, all demonic torture, all unhealthy soul ties, just everything that is of evil from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. You know, I have no ill will towards anyone, never have, never will. Um, it's not the person we hate, it's the actions behind them. The spirits, the demons, the principalities, and that's what we come against, you know? So, I want everyone to know that I'm okay. I'm doing good. It's been a long time coming. Um, and I wanted to do this live. However, I can't do it live at the moment um, with the information I have on this particular device. So, it is what it is. I just want you guys to know um, I've lost everything. Job moment more than once so due to these particular people my entire business is lost my home was lost all my vehicles are lost all my equipment you know if you've seen me you've seen me do work with my children and stuff like that online everything was lost everything that I had with me um, was lost as well so, I'm literally living off the shirt off my back and the donations people uh, bless me with. So, we're literally living the nomad lifestyle. We're living as God sent out the disciples to. Um, we live one day at a time, one step at a time. We don't know where our meals are going to come from the next day. We don't know if we'll have a roof over our head the next day. But we know our Father provides for us no matter what. So we do know we're going to have a roof over our head. We do know we're going to be provided for water, food, electricity, whatever is needed. He provides. He puts the people in place. And uh, He takes care of His children. He truly does. And uh, everyone that's been praying for me and my family, I just want to say thank you. Um, there's a lot more to say. I don't know if... Uh, I'll get to be in full detail. I would love to. I'd ask the Father how how deep and how wide I can go with the truth on this particular channel. Um, just so you know, we are no longer going to be probably using the unattainable truth. Uh, we have another channel that we are setting up and possibly others. I don't know where the Lord is calling us to go. Um, however... At this particular moment and season and time, 
we're literally living one day at a time and it's awesome it's awesome yet stressful at the same time because we put all of our faith and hope in the father and he is our ultimate provider no man is so he puts people in place and circumstances and situations to bless us and um, since a little over three weeks ago I've been blessed nothing has gone missing nothing is uh, lacking water food shelter so um, that's that's as much detail as I want to give and and then uh, share at the moment if anyone wants to bless the ministry because that's what we're doing now we're literally traveling and ministering to those whom we have called and talked to and helped along the way so that's what we're doing now we're literally traveling the United States ministering to those who have uh, called us to to minister to them and help them and they've helped us along the way they have prayed for us they've uh, cried with us they've done a lot so all I can say is ask for forgiveness if you haven't before it's too late a lot of things are happening around the world and that's not what I'm here to talk about however if there's anyone out there that wants to support me or my family in any way shape or form send us an email you can still use the unattainable truth email um, that one's still going on and we'll get you the pertinent information uh, moving forward uh, as to what channel we're going to use and how you can help support us uh, moving forward so once again people say that they're homeless but we're not because we're not of this world our true eternal home is in, he in heaven this is all temporary the flesh is going to pass away the shirt the airplanes the trees this too shall pass now look we got a visitor the squirrel so i just want you guys to know i'm good family's good it's been a long long hard journey could be harder could have been worse and yet at the end of the day god has gotten through us you know gotten us through all of it we've been faithful we haven't wavered in our faith in the father we've uh just kept pressing forward and asking the father to continue to pour out his blessing on us and his children so I love you guys so much I thank you for all your prayers out there I pray that whoever sees this is blessed beyond all measure and um, I pray for my kids in Florida I haven't seen them in months but that's okay I know where they're going at the end of the day I've raised them the way they should go in Deuteronomy and like I said I forgive you for all the people that have hurt me I forgive you there's no ill will towards you but scripture says it if you go to Matthew he says in the end days mom will be against son son against mom dad against dad whatever everyone's gonna be hated for his name's sake in the last days and if anything it's only increased my faith increase my wisdom and knowledge of my father and strengthen me strengthen me for the days ahead so shalom god bless you i love you i pray uh that if you have any ill will towards anyone you ask for forgiveness and you forgive them if they've hurt you because god's coming back soon with his his army his son is coming back we it may not be the way we think it it's going to happen and um it's time to get on the jesus train love you guys god bless you have a safe and productive day i pray this uh reaches your heart and lets you know that i'm good i pray you are all good and uh i'll see you again on the next video whenever that is or the next state the next star on the, the map <laughs> god bless you guys have a good day uh stay safe Stay productive and stay in the Father's love. He's the only one that's going to get us through this all. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.